Hello, my name is Martin Blako and I'd like to warmly welcome you to Co-op Academy Priestthorpe. I'm the principal here at Priestthorpe and I'd like to give you a quick introduction to our school and share with you some of the things that really matter to us, such as our ethos and our values. Regrettably, I'm not able to speak to you in person at the moment due to the ongoing challenges surrounding coronavirus. As you may already be aware, most of our activities involving external visitors, such as parents' evenings, are being conducted online to make sure we maintain a safe working environment for our students and our staff. Nonetheless, we are, as always, driven to make sure that Co-op Academy Priesthood provides a unique environment that enables students of all abilities to be great learners and great citizens. We're constantly striving to inspire all our students to love learning, achieve brilliant outcomes and to develop their individual talents so they can grow into successful and enthusiastic members of society. We achieve this through great learning, driven by a team of passionate and highly skilled teachers, and through specialist student support which offers wraparound care to students when they need it most. Our curriculum is ambitious and enables students to thrive academically, socially and emotionally. We are absolutely driven to make sure that every single Priestthorpe student can be their brilliant best, despite any challenges that they may need to overcome, and that they can do this in a safe and exciting environment. These ambitions are brought to life on the platform of great relationships which are built on mutual respect. As a member of the Co-op Academy's Trust, cooperative values are at the heart of our ethos and our day-to-day -day life. Promoting social justice, cultural diversity and lifelong learning across our community matter to us greatly, as does the building of character and resilience. Making mistakes is very much seen as a stepping stone in the journey towards excellence and is something that should be embraced rather than frowned upon. I very much hope you enjoy seeing and hearing about all the exciting opportunities available to each and every pre up student. And as soon as guidelines permit, our doors will be open for you to arrange a visit to our school when I can meet with you, show you our facilities, answer any questions and help bring to life what you've seen on screen. And a very warm welcome to Co-op Academy Priestthorpe. My name's Mrs Pratt and I'm the Vice Principal here. My role here at Co-op Academy Priestthorpe is around curriculum and standards, making sure we have an engaging and exciting curriculum for all of our students. It's also around target setting and making sure our students make great progress when they come to us. Here at Priestthorpe, we create a caring and inclusive environment in which every child can thrive. Hi, I'm Mrs Gupta. I'm delighted to introduce you to science, media and computer science. Welcome to science. I'm Miss Hill and I'm the faculty leader for the science department. At Co-op Academy Pre-Stop, we aim to nurture all of our inquisitive scientists through a range of engaging activities, both in and beyond the classroom. Our curriculum provides a solid foundation for further study at GCSE and beyond. Students are taught biology, chemistry and physics as separate subjects by a range of enthusiastic teachers who are so passionate about their subject. After completing an induction programme, our Year 7 students move on to learn about how a roller coaster can go so fast, how the body grows and repairs, and what everything is made of in the universe. Through student-led class practicals and exciting demonstrations, we build skills and confidence of our students. We teach our students to be curious, to ask questions, and to work methodically. Teamwork and investigation skills are developed so that pupils can independently design, carry out, and analyse their own experiments. This is called the thermite reaction and we use it to demonstrate energy and oxidation and reduction in chemical reactions.
We celebrate our differences and encourage our students to express themselves in a multitude of ways. In Key Stage 3, our students complete a programme of home learning projects which are designed to help students to discover the importance of science in the wider world and extend their knowledge beyond the national curriculum. Through these projects, we encourage students to make models, presentations and even plays to communicate what they have learned. These projects get the whole family involved and enable students to make connections between science, other subjects and their daily lives. Every year the faculty celebrates National Science Week. We organise activities for the students in their science lessons and in other areas around the school. Previous Science Week activities have included recycled materials fashion, visiting the Space Dome and even maggot racing. We also run a Key Stage 3 Science Club as an after school activity in which students complete a number of additional practical activities, make display boards to inform other students about opportunities in science and speak in assemblies about current scientific affairs. Okay, so I'm just currently pumping some methane gas into some very liquid which will cause some bubbles and to prevent Mr Shoesmith from getting burnt when we light these bubbles we've made him dip his arms in water to evaporate the heat. Hi, I'm Mrs Brandt and I'm in charge of computer science, um, ICT and media at Carp Academy Priestlock. I've got a team of teachers and your children will be learning in computer science from year seven, how to program using different technologies such as microbits and uh, Raspberry Pis. And they will get a chance to experience all the nuances of computer science from the basics to the more advanced as they move up into the school. We also do some work with Photoshop and media so that when they come to their choices they can choose to do either media studies GCSE or computer science and in media studies we explore more pathways using digital media, recording videos, making posters, uh, computer games and in computer science more of the programming. Students love coming in here because they get to work with computers and they get to make computer games, show off to one another the skills they've got. In media studies they really like to experiment with Photoshop and manipulating their faces to make them look as scary as possible. We get visits from outside organisations to come in and promote things like the Break campaign, um, encouraging students to get involved and um, make some adverts for them. And we take part in cyber security online challenges, um, encouraging students to in engage with computer science increasing their cultural capital and giving them all those opportunities that will help them go into the world to be great digital citizens. Hi, I'm Mrs Singer. I'm the operations leader here at Co-op Academy Priestthorpe. When you join us in September, you'll see me around the school. One of the many things I'm responsible for is the site maintenance. So that's to ensure the site is safe and welcoming for all our students. Today, I'd like to introduce you to our creative art and design faculty. My name is Mr Jones, I'm Head of Technology and I'm part of a department that has four members of staff and two technicians that help with the students' work on a day-to-day -day basis in the classrooms. In this room we do a number of subjects, uh, mostly with materials based and we do construction also in Key Stage 4. So the students will come into the school in Year 7 and they will have a range of activities in technology, a textiles project, they'll have a materials project and they'll have a food project. Then they will also go do that in year eight where they will do different projects but the same material areas and then they will be given the opportunity to choose either food technology, engineering or construction in year nine which they'll then take on to do as a GCSE. So we do construction which is based around joinery wallpapering and tiles, fixing tiles. We do hospitality and catering for food and we also do design engineering for OCR. These will lead on if they choose to stay in the sixth form to then do design and technology or design engineering at a level three which will then help them to go on to do either higher level apprenticeships or go on to university and college to do things like architecture, quantity surveying, these sort of subjects. At the minute, 
the students behind me are wallpapering one side of the wall, which is one of the skills they have to do. So they have to measure the wallpaper, cut the wallpaper and then paste it accurately onto the wall, which will then put some architrave around to finish off the wall. We do these courses in school because it's important that students get a wide variety of different subjects and experiences in school, which will give the students a wide variety of choices in modern apprenticeships, moving on to higher education or university. It gives them the skills, the life skills to progress into careers in construction or engineering. We have a shortage of builders and construction workers in the country and a shortage of houses, so it's going to be a growth area in the future. So we think that we're giving the students the skills that they can progress on to that sort of job. Hi, I'm Tracy Metcalf. I'm Head of Art, uh, which is within the Creative Design faculty. We have um, a mixture of art and design technology in Year 7 and Year 8, where they're on a rotation. Year 7 come in, we do a baseline with them, and then we give them as many different experiences as possible so that we build on their skills and introduce them to a lot of new artists. In Year 8, we're now doing a new exciting mixed project where they're going to do drawing and designing from an artist's work and then they're going to make a product and then look at how to batch produce, mass produce that product. In year nine they decide whether they uh, want to do GCSE. We've got this year three different options. We've got 3D, we've got textiles and we've got art and design. We spend the first six months practicing different materials, giving them um, a range of techniques to study um, and then at the end of year nine they decide which, which subject they want to uh, select for GCSE and then we start the GCSE course at the end of year nine. Um, year ten, if they're doing art and design they do sculpture, 3D, photography and drawing and painting. If they're doing 3D they do clay um, and all manner of 3D work that you can see behind us here. This is Modrock and then uh, textiles will be making products and um, printing. Um, in year 10 in textiles then we will be printing, doing woven, applique, making things, making fashion design products and uh, furnishings. In year 11 there's more independence and they get to choose their own artists and projects and then in January the exam paper is given out and they spend the next three months doing the exam. If they want to follow on from year 11, we do have sixth form and we do um, art and design. And we have students that have gone on to Russell Group Universities to do fine art, textiles, and also apprenticeships. Hi, my name is Miss Martin and I'm one of the art teachers at Presop. Um, here on this table, we've got some key stage four projects. And these are these ones here are year 11 and these one here are year 12 and year 13. So these ones here, you'll probably notice that are really, really colourful pieces of work. And we try to encourage the use of colour. We try to make our sketchbooks beautiful things. So we don't want that to be just like everyone else's sketchbook. Every sketchbook's different. We try to make everyone have some kind of control and some kind of say about what they're producing. Hello, I'm Mrs Pratt and part of my role here, aside from being the Vice Principal, is Teacher of Business Studies. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the faculty I work in, Humanities and Social Sciences. Hi, I'm Miss Mackay, I'm Head of the Business Department here at Priestthorpe. And I'm Mr Sheard. We think in uh, business studies that context is hugely important, so whenever we teach lessons we always hang it off real life examples. We are a very popular option at Year 8, we offer BTEC and GCSE. We have about four classes in each year group, 
quite large classes. The students really enjoy it. It's something new, something they've never studied before. One of the very first things that we get our students to do is a research task on businesses in the local area. So looking at the types of businesses that are there, so local, national, multinational companies, down to your small cell traders. We do a couple of really good trips for the, for the students as well when they come into the department in, in Key Stage 4. We like to go to Walton Towers. Uh, it's a really good trip for the kids, it's a nice day out, but it's a really valuable trip that we do in terms of looking at how the business works, how the theme park runs, and really looking at the theory that they've looked at in the, the year that they've studied the course up to that point. One task that we do is we ask students to, and we do this every year when the um, figures come out, we ask them to rank the top 10 brands um, in the world in terms of value. What are we thinking? Okay, can you tell me why you think that? Because... These things are like expensive and they get sold like a lot in a day. So their products are expensive and they sell. And people want to buy them. In sixth form we go a step further. It's another theme park but it's abroad this time. We go to Disneyland Paris. Huge multinational company. It gives that example of another big company and what they do. It really immerses the students in, in the theory that they've, they've learned within the courses. Another popular task is getting them to create their own business plan. So pulling together all the theory that they've learned maybe over a year, and they will create and they will present their own um, business idea. So across the school, we've got really healthy numbers within the classes. You know, the, within sixth form, we have a really good uptake as well. The students seem to, to really enjoy the course. A lot of our students come from year 10, 11 into sixth form and stay with us. You know, if they stay within the, the, the post 16 element that we've got, we've had that time with them all the way through Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5 to develop those uh, relationships and, and they do enjoy coming back to the department and from that we get some really good results. So our BTEC units are based a lot on businesses that you would find in this local area. They provide us with information and where they can they will come in and talk to the students and the students will base their work around that. We've had uh, many students from Key Stage 5 uh, go on to university to study business management, marketing, accounting. We've also had uh, a couple of students in the last couple of years go and do uh, apprenticeships with, with KPMG, one of the biggest finance firms uh, in the world. So the, the grounding that they get within the subjects, we, we hope it, it builds a little bit of a love for the subject and they go on and do something within that area post 16. Hi there, so my name is Miss White and I am a Head of Faculty for Humanities but I'm also in charge of the Social Sciences as well which is Health and Social Care, Sociology, Criminology and Psychology. So to start with for Health and Social Care we look at three units and it's all about, the first unit is all about how children learn and how they progress and then we also look at that as well into later adulthood as well. So the main things that we look at are PIEs, which is physical, intellectual, emotional, and social. And we look at all of those different types of development and how they affect you depending on the different life stage that you're in. We do a lot of coursework, uh, so it's not all exams, which some people would be really pleased to hear. And we guide you through your coursework. We have a look at different drafts. We also help you as well with the exam skills that you need. Uh, my name is Mr Button. I teach both sociology and criminology. Sociology we teach at GCSE and at A level. Some of the topic areas that we look at are the sociology of education, of crime and deviance. And we also have a look at the topic of stratification which is about inequality in society. At A level again we look at very similar topics. We do the sociology of the family, we do the sociology of education, crime and deviance and beliefs in society. Very popular A level, uh, a traditional A level, exam based, two exams at the end of your two year course uh, and we get magnificent results. Uh, criminology is a new course, not as traditional as the sociology A level. So criminology is a BTEC, so half of it is coursework, half of it is exam based and in criminology we have a look at the reasons why people commit crime, the different sorts of crimes that people commit and the reason why that might be. We also have a look at the function of law and the function of punishment as well and what we can do to improve society as a result.
Welcome to Religious Studies. My name is Mrs Halfpenny and I teach up here in the Tower Block along with Mr Lipinski. So when you come into our school in Year 7, we study all the six main world religions at Key Stage 3. So we do some Judaism, we do some Sikhism, we do some Islam, some Christianity, some Buddhism and some Hinduism. And we also look at non-religious views as well from a scientific and a humanistic perspective. We're really lucky in religious studies here at Priestthorpe. Um, students really enjoy it. They've always got lots of nice things to say about the subject. And for me and Mr Lipinski, one of the best things about it is we get to really know our students because we get to hear their views about lots of different issues um, in our classrooms and we get to know them quite well because of that. Hello, uh, I'm Mr Lipinski. I also teach religious studies up in T11. Key stage four GCSE are is a popular choice. We look at beliefs and practices and ethics. And then at Key Stage 5, we also teach at A-level philosophy, ethics and Islam. Students particularly enjoy in RS, I think, things like debate and discussion. They enjoy group work um, and they get the chance to discuss uh, lifestyles and things that are different to their own, which gives them more tolerance of the society that we live in. In philosophy, look at questions such as the existence of God, religious language, uh, religious experiences. Uh, in ethics, we look at a range of different ethical theories such as utilitarianism and natural law. And Mrs Halfpenny, uh, my colleague, teaches the Islam unit looking at the history of the religion and its impact on the world today. As well as that, at Key Stage 3, we look at some of the main ultimate questions um, about life. We look at whether people think, how people think the world was created, for example, whether they have a religious or a scientific view about that. We look at uh, peace and conflict, can war ever be right? And we also look at questions like what happens after death. So when you come to religious studies at secondary school, what you can expect to find is you can expect to find a lot of discussion, a lot of debate, um, and a lot of chance to express your views and to hear the views of other people as well. Welcome to Hi, I'm Mr Edwards. I'm the Head of History here at Carp Academy Preestop. Really excited to, uh, to join the team in September. Looking forward to meeting you guys. Looking forward to uh, teaching you potentially when you come here. I'm going to hand over in a moment to my two colleagues, Mr Pickup and Mr Durant, who are going to talk to you about what history at Carp Academy Preestop looks like. Hi, I'm Mr Durant. I'm Mr Pickup. And we both teach history at Carp Academy Preestop. So when you come to school and learn about history, uh, you are going to be learning about all sorts of different times of British history and international history. Uh, we're going to start learning about the Romans, which should be something quite comfortable to you uh, from primary school. Uh, we're going to continue that historical education all the way up to the modern day, looking at uh, places and people across the world. And in Key Stage 4 at Priestthorpe, you will be doing a range of different topics. You will be looking at medicine throughout time, all the way from the Middle Ages up to the present day. You'll be doing the Tudors. You'll be looking at the Cold War from 1945 up to again the modern day. And finally you'll be doing Germany from 1918 all the way through the Weimar period with the rise of Adolf Hitler to the end of the Second World War. We like to take trips to the uh, battlefields of the First World War to France and Belgium uh, which students have absolutely loved in the past and it's a chance to get out of your comfort zone a little bit and really experience history firsthand. In Key Stage 5, you'll be doing a far more university style of learning. It's far more independent. We will provide you with everything you need, but you'll be going away to do your own research, come up with your own ideas, which we can then discuss in the classrooms. You'll be doing Henry VII, the Battle of Bosworth Field, all the way through to Elizabeth I, who died in 1603 and the end of the Tudor dynasty. History is really important for you to learn about uh, because it helps prepare you for the world around you. It helps you understand what's going on in politics, it helps you understand what's uh, happening in day-to-day -day life and helps you prepare for the future. History is important because you learn empathy, you learn understanding of other people, you learn that not everything you see is true, there is always other versions of everything. To be able to understand that is a very important life skill. Yeah, so we're quite a big department here in Priestthorpe. What we study is the natural world and the interaction between the natural planets that we live on 
and the human environment and the interactions between the two. There's quite a lot of exciting opportunities within the department. We actually get to take students out quite a lot around the school grounds to apply their knowledge and the skills that they've learned in the classroom. There's also opportunities in the future to take students out to the coast over in Hornsey in, in Yorkshire, but also up into the Yorkshire Dales and possibly the Lake District in the future as well. Geography is a really exciting subject because it brings to life our everyday lives. We study the local area, but we also study the national and the international and issues that affect us, not just here, but also around the world. When Year 7 students start at Presop, we study weather and climate. So we start with looking at our local weather and our local climate and how that affects us. We'll then move on to look at big extreme weather events, so things like snowstorms in the UK, tropical storms, tropical hazards that would affect people on, the, on a large scale. We'll then move into looking at things like resource management in the local area, looking at issues around food, water and energy and how that actually affects us and, and the local area. Our students absolutely love the subject. They can relate to it because geography is the everyday, so when they go home they can see what they've been studying, not just in their local area but also in the news and on the TV. So the students are, are really excited and really enthused with the subject. Hi, I'm Miss Morris. This is my third year of teaching and it's my third year at Priestthorpe as well. So I came to Priestthorpe as a brand new teacher and everybody was really, really welcoming and the students are absolutely amazing. So geography is very, very good at Priestthorpe. We study lots of different things and we try and celebrate diversity in Priestthorpe and diversity in the world, which you'll see in every single display in the geography classrooms. You'll see a display about diversity. So we look at black, Asian, minority, ethnic geographers and we also look at women in geography and we really celebrate diversity in geography and just being a bit different. I'm Miss Ascoff and I'm actually a brand new teacher this year, so brand new to teaching completely and brand new to Priestthorpe. I've only been here a few days and everybody seems really, really friendly and really caring about everybody at the school. It seems like quite a, like a family. The teachers, the, the rest of the geography department are really nice as well and seem really enthusiastic about geography. It's a really interesting subject. There's lots of different aspects in geography, so there's human geography which is about communities and people and there's also physical geography so if you're more into like the nature and the environment but I am really excited to teach geography at Priestop. My name is Miss Welford and I am the faculty leader for English and MFL. It is my pleasure to introduce you to the English music and drama area here at Priestop. Hi, my name's Mr Berry and I'm the subject leader of music at Cobb Academy Priestthorpe. Our ethos here is to make sure that we get the kids playing instruments as quickly as possible, doing lots of practical work, hands-on, and there's no better way to showcase that than by introducing you to Owen Richardson, who's going to take on a bit of a tour of the music room and introduce you to some of our musicians. Our first musician that will be playing today will be Amrit. She's playing the electric guitar and she'll be playing a piece for you today. Our next musician will be Oscar, who is playing the acoustic guitar. He will be playing Under the Bridge by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Our third musician will be Ollie Bigger, who is playing the piano and is playing his jazz piece. Our fourth musician is Kiva, playing the piano, and she'll be playing her grade piece, The Dusty Blue.
love how we get to play and we get more hands-on time with practicals and spending most of our time with instruments and then we learn the theory. It's a good way to engage people to play instruments and to make it much more exciting. My name is Owen Richardson and today I'll be playing the drums for you. Hello, uh, I'm Mr Dudridge and welcome to the English department. There's a lot of opportunity when Year 7 joined the school to do a range of reading, uh, to do a range of writing. Uh, we cover a range of poetry, drama, Shakespeare uh, and novels. Um, when the children come to the school, they seem enthusiastic about English, but it's quite a different experience to the one they have at primary school. We start off with uh, uh, a, a scheme on autobiography where they learn about different sports people and we try and give them the non-fiction they might not have experienced as much at primary school. The Shakespeare we cover is A Midsummer Night's Dream that they often have studied at primary school but we give them a bit more of an in-depth look at Shakespeare and his life. And the poetry we cover is from a range of global poetry to try and give them a sense of multiculturalism. I would recommend Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief because it has adventure and lots of cliffhangers which would make you want to read on more. The work we do in Key Stage 3 at Priestorp is perfectly designed to prepare students for their study of English language and English literature at GCSE. Uh, we cover a range of prose, uh, drama and poetry at Key Stage 3 level which will inform and build on the skills that they hopefully will need uh, for their GCSE language and GCSE uh, English literature. This will build into a study of specifically a range of poetry from uh, the 17th century all the way up to present day. It will include uh, a, a study of a Shakespeare play often Romeo and Juliet or Macbeth and will feed into 19th century uh, prose like uh, Christmas Carol uh, and Jekyll and Hyde and the enjoyment they seem to get from the study of those texts as well as looking at non-fiction and smaller fiction for the language qualification um, seem to be a popular choice for people after that moving on towards A level. I would recommend A Boy in Striped Pyjamas because it gives the reader more of a historical understanding about the Holocaust. Hi, I'm Mr Martin. Uh, I'm another one of the English teachers and I just want to talk a little bit about uh, opportunities beyond GCSE for students who love English at Priestop. So for students who've progressed with us uh, from year 7 to 11 in English and have really loved that, uh, this subject, there's the opportunity then to develop that into A-level study where we run two courses, uh, both language and literature. We had um, a student who went to study English literature at Cambridge. We were really, really proud of how she uh, developed through her time at Priestop, a student from year 7 right the way to year 13 doing English literature at, Pre at Priestop and was able to, uh, to continue to that uh, really prestigious university. So my passion for teaching English came from um, uh, well, my family mainly. Um, my mum was a very avid reader and kind of always instilled that kind of love of literature in me. I loved English at school, might sound like a cliche, but I loved English at school. I did it at A-level and I did my degree. I still read now, I still try to read every day. And I try and read a range of things because I feel if you're genuine about your love for the subject, then that comes through in your teaching and that hopefully will have an impact on the kids. I'm Mr Ashley, I'm subject leader for drama and welcome to the drama department. Uh, the drama department here at Priestthorpe is really, really exciting. You can expect to learn all about the world of theatre. Uh, you'll be definitely using your imagination. We'll get you up on your feet, acting and performing in lessons, and as well as a whole range of extracurricular opportunities, clubs and performances. Uh, you're really going to enjoy your drama here at Priestthorpe. Hello, I'm Miss Morley and I'm another drama teacher here, as well as the lead teacher for PSHCE. Um, but you can expect in the drama department that we work very closely with uh, music and dance and 
Together, we create some outstanding productions. When you start your drama lessons um, here, you can expect us to first of all start by looking at teamwork and team building, and then we're going to start looking at your specific drama skills. So we're going to be teaching you how to use your voice effectively, how to use your bodies, moving around the space, learning about the world of theatre itself as well. So we'll look at exciting playwrights, um, and theatre practitioners are from over the years. So we created a fantastic spectacle uh, Christmas show that we took out into the community uh, that was very well received and of course we presented it here for parents, carers and the staff here at Preethorpe. What drama is great for is we'll develop your communication skills. So we'll help you learn how to be confident when talking to other people or communicating to an audience. Um, and not only that, but we'll also be looking at your group work skills, how you work with other people. So you'll learn how to be a good leader or director, uh, as well as being directed by other people. The, the thing I really enjoy about teaching drama is, of course, the relationships, the creativity, the use of an imagination to go on a journey. We can go to any place, anywhere, anytime. It's absolutely fantastic. So come on in and be in the spotlight. Hi, I'm Mr King. As part of my role, I'm the leader of the student support team. These are a fantastic group of people who look after the pastoral needs of all our students here at Cope Academy Priesthorpe. For example, if a student is having a really challenging day, the fantastic student support team will give that student lots of support to ensure that they get back on track as soon as possible. Uh, my name's Nathan Randall, I'm the SEND leader here at Corp Academy Priesthorpe. That means it's my job to make sure that all the students in this school who need any extra support, whether they've got special educational needs, whether they're looked after, uh, get the support that they need in class. So from here in Oasis we support students with a wide variety of special educational needs and with a wide range of different difficulties that are stopping them from being able to learn as, as they might want to. We believe in treating every single child as a total individual, so I can't tell you what our support is for a particular area of need because we make it bespoke to each individual child's needs. We're extremely proud of the work that we do as a department. We've helped a number of students who've come to us working significantly below age-related expectations, some of whom have then left with really good GCSE outcomes. Students that have come to us with real emotional difficulties that we've helped to increase their confidence. We've helped them to become much more able to go out into the world of work and be successful and thrive. We really want to make sure that every child who comes here is treated as a complete individual, is put in the centre of everything that we do and that we help them to be ready to go on to whatever comes next in their life. Hi, my name is Miss Moss and I am an assistant principal here at Cope Academy Priesthorpe, leading on teaching and learning. I'm really thrilled to be able to welcome you to our Maths and Modern Foreign Languages departments. Hi, my name is Miss Challoner and I'm head of the Maths faculty. Welcome to the Maths department. On entry, pupils are setted in Year 7 and we follow the White Rose scheme of learning which is very popular and adopted by many primary schools. Maths is a very popular subject. Students always comment on the high expectations, the challenge for all, and the support that they get in maths. Exam results continue to improve, and for the last two years, Progress 8 has been significantly above average. We have lots to offer as a maths department, as well as the interesting lessons and the rich tasks, we have lots of extracurricular activities. We take part in the UKMT Maths Challenges, as well as the team competitions. And we have links with Leeds Universities that have a programme of Saturday morning maths specialisms. We also at Key Stage 4 offer an extra option of GCSE statistics and further maths. And at Year 12, we have a very popular A-level course, as well as offering Year 12 core maths. I'm now going to introduce you to Mr Bradshaw, who is going to show you an interesting activity.
Hello, my name's Mr. Bradshaw and we're going to do some magic. So first roll all three of the dice and then put them all together and add them all up. And then after that, pick up one dice, turn it 180 degrees and then the number on that, add it onto your total. After that, roll the dice you've just turned over and then add that number onto your total. Seventeen. And then this one. Fourteen. I got it! <laughs> What's happening is, when you roll the dice for the first time, you get three completely random results. And at that stage, I won't have any idea what's going on, right? The point where it starts to be easy for me to understand what's going on is if you just flick over, so if you flick over the face of the die that you've got, so pick any of them and add the two faces together, what do you get? Seven. And if you do it for the other one, what do you get? Seven. And if you do it for the other one, what do you get? Seven. Right, so when I ask you to flip over the die, what do I know that that is always going to be? Seven. seven. It's always going to be seven because I asked you to add them together, didn't I? If you think about it, I said you've got your first dice. It doesn't matter. Let's say you pick this one and you, you're flipping that one over. If I had the side, let's just call that side A, and I had the other side together to it, that's always going to equal seven, isn't it? Right? Now, the other two dice, just get rid of one of them. So that's that die. So I know that that always adds up to seven. So just move that to the side. So if you roll that one now, and roll the one that I just asked you to move to the side, add all those together, and then add seven, that's all I've done. So all I've done is the C and the D, the one die that you rolled again, and then add seven. That's easy. That's how easy it is. Bonjour, et bienvenue à Co-op Academy Pre-Stop. Moi, je suis Madame Marchment et moi, je j'enseigne le français et l'espagnol. Hola, me llamo Jasmine. Le. Hola, me llamo Señorita Booth, enseño el espagnol y el francés. Bonjour, je m'appelle Darcy. Hola, me llamo Hassan. Hola, soy Señorita Forster, soy profe de espagnol y francés. As well as being a teacher of French and Spanish, I am the head of Modern Foreign Languages. At Co-op Academy Priestthorpe, we study both French and Spanish. At Priestthorpe, I study French. Learning a language is really important, in my opinion, because it opens up a whole other country to enjoy. My favourite thing in French to do is to share my opinions in French, because you learn new vocabulary that you're going to use in everyday life. The years groups are split into A half and B half in year seven. A half study French, B half study Spanish. Students will be allocated a year group and won't have a choice of the language. However, if there's a specific reason why you would prefer your child to study one or the other, please let the transition team know and they will try to accommodate this. My favorite thing in Spanish lessons is to do the group work and pair work as you get to work with other people and just try out different things. We have a biannual French trip for year sevens and year eight, which goes to Normandy, where students get to do a range of exciting activities, such as making bread in a French boulangerie, going to a goat's farm. And this is open for students of both French and Spanish. My favorite thing uh, is in Spanish is to do the group work because we can share our opinion with others. At Cope Academy Priestthorpe, our students really engage with language lessons and really enjoy learning languages. Gracias, adios. Hasta luego. Merci, au revoir. Adios. Gracias, adios. Uh, merci, au revoir, a bientôt. Hello and welcome to the Cope Academy P department and our wonderful facilities. My name is Jane Cronshaw and I'm Key Stage 3 leader here, but my other role in school is also a P teacher. We love being active at Priestthorpe and we can't wait to see you in September 2021 being active with us.
Hi, I'm Rob Rigg, Head of Physical Education at Corp Academy Presop. PE at Peterstop is, is one of the major parts of the curriculum. In Year 7 we offer a broad range of activities from traditional sports such as football and rugby right through to health related exercise, badminton, table tennis. We feel that PE is really, really important for young people, especially in modern society when, when contemporary issues are, are a big part of, of health going forward. At Peterstop we have a wide range of sporting facilities. We have a, a big sports hall for badminton courts. As you can see we have a well equipped fitness suite we have a dance and gymnastics studio, ample fields outside, along with the 3G AstroTurf. Really, really important that kids are active. Key Stage 3 students have two hours of core PE a week, which then goes down to one hour at Key Stage 4. But it's really important that they try and take advantage of extracurricular opportunities as well and join clubs. Our extracurricular programme includes rugby, football, badminton and table tennis opportunities. We do athletics and striking and fielding games in the summer and take part in a wide range of indoor athletics competitions in the winter. We also compete with other schools in the local area, netball matches, football matches, rugby matches. We even put on a dance festival once a year, as that's a big part of our extracurricular opportunities. We've had a range of students that have gone on and had professional careers, noticeably rugby players such as Jamie Jones Buchanan, Ashton Golden, Sam Hallis, lots of athletes including Grace Christopher, Alex Bell that have gone on to compete nationally as well. Thank you for taking the time to find out about Co-op Academy Prestop and joining us in 2021. We would love you to come and see us. Please get in touch. Join us either as a small group or an individual.